Hey guys, today we are going to talk about MetaZoo and just how devastating the blows have come. They went from putting cards in a literal dumpster, so they are the definition of a dumpster fire, to having Mike Waddell come back. And their largest content creator left. I mean, Pay Money Wabi has said that he's out. Alpha Investment has not said he's out, but he's been deleting videos. All any positive videos about MetaZoo have now been deleted, and he left up all the negative videos. So the biggest MetaZoo content creator it would be Nick Strength and Pokemon, who consistently cover it. Now, Argos Anonymous, again, no idea what the dude is, but uh, we know he's still living because he's still selling MetaZoo on eBay as rapidly as he can. So again, he he definitely has time to sell MetaZoo, just doesn't have the time to make a live or a video about the zoo, right? And that's your fan base in general. That's basically who they are. Um, they are going to be fair weather fans. They are happy when MetaZoo is going to the moon. When MetaZoo goes to zero, they were never part of it, right? Hey, man, I, what is MetaZoo? Was it ever investable? Nope. What is MetaZoo, right? Like, it's kind of interesting when you really think about, like, what is happening and who the major players were. Jeff Wilson, Steve Aoki. We haven't heard anything from Steve Aoki, and people are speculating that he may own upwards of 50%, 51% of the company right now, and that's kind of weird. Uh, now, I do have an update on Steve Aoki that a lot of people don't know. My friend went to Houston CollectorCon. And Steve Aoki is, is, had a booth there. Uh, Steve Aoki was not there. I, I don't know. He didn't see Steve Aoki, but they had a booth. And the booth was a game called HeroQuest. Which, if you may remember, HeroQuest is the MetaZoo variant, right? It is essentially MetaZoo for Steve Aoki. And I, I really understand it as kind of the only continuous right i believe that's the same mechanics as the same artist as the same type of play so metazoo uh you know nick strength in pokemon probably the biggest metazoo content creator you left um i am kind of a content creator but only ironically uh in the sense that this just makes alpha investment looks bad and people are like, oh, Alpha Investment and MetaZoo living rent-free in your home. I, I don't think you guys understand what rent-free would be. Rent-free wouldn't be a golden distribution trying to kick out MetaZoo and trying to remove all the MetaZoo product from its warehouse. That would actually be rent, right? Golden distribution would actually be charging rent, and MetaZoo would be not paying the rent. So that's kind of what happened there, right? I mean, in a nutshell... But that's what happened. MetaZoo could not afford the rent, and that's why their boxes and skateboard pallets. I mean, they had so many skateboards. I mean, the the fact that they just. I mean, what what was the plan here? To, to have like a skateboard for every MetaZoo fan? Like, uh, I I don't really understand skateboarding. Maybe because I'm not into that. But it's just kind of a strange little thing that they were doing, where they just had a ton of skateboards for whatever reason, and I wasn't really sure like what like who is buying these skateboards why do they want so many of them or, or is this like a skateboard like but anyway regardless metazoo has done what i thought metazoo would do from the very beginning i was very skeptical of metazoo i thought the artwork could have been better or, or yes the best way i can put it artwork was not for me Maybe it was for you, maybe it was for other people, but it definitely was not for me. Um, the other thing that I really wanted to kind of emphasize here is the fact that the MetaZoo saga, um, the dude, the best case scenario is bankruptcy. And I hate bankruptcy because that means people don't get paid. Uh, that means vendors, players, customers, somebody not getting... The, the reason that you would pay a lawyer that much money to, you know do this thing is because you specifically don't want to pay other people you'd rather spend all your money paying a lawyer and legal fees and court fees and so on than paying what you owe people right your customers your player base who are still waiting to get paid and that just 
that just shows like what type of human being you are. That these people were reliant on you and your business. And, and I'm sure some of the artists and so on, I, I noticed they were selling their artwork from the artists. Well, in Magic the Gathering, like Teresa Nielsen, for instance, she can sell her Force of Will painting for $100,000. And the painting relies with her. So the copyright is given to the company, but the painting is her painting. So I guess in MetaZoo that was not the case, that the original paintings were from the artists were actually just sold off to pay for legal fees. Again, when you pay money into legal fees as a lawyer myself, it doesn't go to paying back what you owe. It goes specifically to trying to prevent paying back what you owe. So it's it's a very different mentality of, hey, you know, I owe all these people. I want to make sure that they're even and they're taken care of because they help me get to where I am to, oh, let me just pay this random lawyer who I've never seen before all the money so I don't have to pay these people and I can um, get out of this debt that I actually do owe them and have agreed to before. The, and, you know, and again, when when you're attacking the biggest content creator in your space, you have to understand there is going to be massive backlog. I don't know how many MetaZoo fans there are. I would imagine that it's probably like, let's say there was 100 fans are probably down to 2% now. Out of that 2%, um, you know that you haven't updated your, you haven't updated. I mean, the arrogance of these people running a bankrupt company is nothing to be proud of, guys. Anyone can spend money on Lamborghinis. Anyone can take debt that for money they can't afford. Anyone can run, as a business owner, I'm here to tell you, anyone can run a bankrupt company. Now, on my other channel, I covered this Anthony Farrar guy. Yeah, you just steal your client's money. You steal your customer's money, right? The dude's in jail. Um... There's pre-orders outstanding. There are a lot of things that like, I don't know why the MetaZoo community is so tolerant of this type of stuff. Because in the Magic community, if your secret layer is deleted, the first are delayed, you, the first thing you do is go on Reddit and complain. And other people go, oh yeah, mine got delayed too. I, I just don't understand why the MetaZoo community is so tolerant of being treated like shit. And they get angry at me, right? Which I, I don't own the MetaZoo. I don't have any impact on the failures of MetaZoo. I just report on it, right? I don't, I've, I literally have no MetaZoo cards. I don't intend to ever have a MetaZoo card unless I buy like a giant collection, um, i.e. liquidation. I'm not the reason MetaZoo failed. I hope you guys realize that. The reason MetaZoo failed is Mike Waddell. Andy, Shaw, and the negativity, you know, the positivity, negativity crowd, which is Argos or not. I mean, where is Argos? Like, have you guys even asked this question? Like, why are you not mad at Argos? He sold you this shit, right? Why are you not mad at Alpha Investment? He sold you this shit. Did I sell you a MetaZoo card? No, because I never owned a MetaZoo card. Yikes. <laughs>